How's it going, everybody? This is Afro DJ Mac with an Ableton Live tip. Let's set up the situation. You are in a band and you're using Ableton Live to play synthesizers and launch backing tracks for different songs in your set. Now, right now, I've got three imaginary songs, and let's say I want to play this sound over this song. Then I will go into session view. I will launch the next scene for the next track. Now I have to go back to note mode, but I don't want this sound. I actually want this sound. Right? So I have to switch tracks. And then again, when I want to go to my next song, I launch it. And I have to go to note mode and move to my other synth. And it's a lot of busy work, right? We can automate this so that it's much quicker and much easier. And we're going to do that with instrument racks. So I'm going to hit Shift Command T to create a new MIDI track. Command F, and I'm going to write in instrument rack. Command F, instrument rack. And I'll just hit down a few times. Hit Enter. And now I've got a new instrument rack. We'll get rid of this default device. And I'm going to open this up and I'm going to open up the chains here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my different synths, all of which are from some of my premium Ableton Live packs that I sell at the Afro TJ Max store. Here's an 8-bit sound from the Super 8-bit pack. And I'm going to just put these inside this new instrument rack I've made. Just like that. So what I have now are three synths stacked. I'm going to delete these old MIDI clips because I'm not going to need them. I've got three synths, so if I play this now, I hear them all at once. Kind of a cool sound, but that's not what we're going for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up our chain selector, and our chain selector allows us to put different sounds on different chains, and that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to leave the first one on zero, set the second one to one, and the second one to two. So now when I play, get that synth and I'd have to move the chain selector to two to one excuse me to get my other sound and I'd have to move it again to get my other sound I'm going to right click to map this to macro one and I'm gonna go in here into my mappings and just set my range from zero to two so that as I turn my knob my chain selector only moves from one to two okay now I'm going to rename this command R to synth selector, just like that. Now I can close this down a bit. And if I wanted to see my, I could hide my chains and I can see my different synth presets here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a MIDI clip right here. And I'm going to go into the envelopes. And what I'm going to tell this to do is to switch from the switch the chain selector to a different chain so that a different synth will play when these clips are launched. So right now I'm going to keep this down at zero. That looks good. And I'm going to create a new clip. I'll just duplicate this one. And maybe before I do that, we can just turn off loop. I'm going to assume that you're playing the synth live so that as you launch the clip, you can just play along. You can, so we don't need a MIDI clip looping. We'll just copy that. So on this clip, I'm going to just take that breakpoint and move it on up to 1. And then I'm going to duplicate this again. I'm just holding the Option key and dragging. That will duplicate pretty much anything in live. And I'm going to pull this one up to 2. So what's happening is as these clips get launched, it is going to set some automation in effect and change our preset. So let's launch our first clip and see if it's working. So we'll launch our first scene. That's cool. So then we can go into session here, launch our next scene, which is a new song. And we got a new preset. Now we can again go into session and launch our next track. Go into note. And now I got a different synth sound. 
just like that and if I go back in the session again and go back say to my first song you get our original sound then same thing when I go into our second song so what we've done effectively is we've just put all the synths we want inside an instrument rack put them on different chains we go into our chain selector and put each synth on its own chain set that to a macro control just because it's nice and easy to see right here so we can minimize everything keep our set nice and clean and I'm just automating the envelope right here so the envelope gets changed every time we launch a clip so if I were to just click our clips we can change our presets that way so it might be like useful to maybe name these so we'll have like synth one you know and then we go down here to synth two you know name them after your presets so this way when you're looking at your set you know what you're seeing here so that's how you do it i'd like to just give a shout out to alex from minus the bear for the question um super handy way to do this nice and easy so you're not fumbling around changing your synths making little mistakes while you're playing you cannot worry about that and just know that live will do it for you so thanks again this is afro dj mac have a great day